is one ball with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first, the team of the outspoken Joe Alonso and the last fashion of professional wrestling, Calvi Carino. From coast to coast and around the globe, welcome to another exciting episode of NWA Power, less than two weeks away from yeah, NWA so 75 excited. in St. Louis, ladies and gentlemen, and Colby Carino is the quite possibly the biggest match of his career on that pay-per-view. Unified force. But now Silas Mason being competitor, not a manager, forced to leave. Oh, come on. What is with all these people talking trash to you? First it's Jack Stane, now it's Kerry Morton. Everybody wants to pick a fight with you for well, some reason. Kerry had an issue. Are they stupid? Kerry had an issue earlier where he was saying that I was not recognizing him as the way I should as, as a champion. And I, that's, I completely disagree. Get my belt. Get my yeah. All right. Junior heavyweight tag team matchup here starting things off. Kerry Morton against Joe Alonzo. Kerry Morton says he wants some of Colby Carino. Tag is made, and here we go. We're going to get a little preview of what we're going to see in less than two weeks at NWA 75. Tickets and information available at NWATIX.com. We're going to have EC3 versus Tyrus, Camille versus Natalia Markova for the World Women's Championship. Of course, Kerry Morton versus Colby Carino for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Tag has been made to Alex Taylor. Oh! Japanese arm drag gets taken down. Traditional arm drag. And Kerry's already reached out for a tag. Yeah, they had a plan. That plan didn't work. The bridge. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> I have to admit, that was very clever of Colby Carino. Alex Taylor on the attack. Tag is made. In comes Kerry Morton, junior heavyweight champion. And now, Seen a bit of a preview of that we'll see at NWA 75, Ooh. August 26, 27. And well, that didn't last long. Tag. It comes. The Gigolo comes down hard after the backdrop. Tag. There's the tag. Joe Alonzo going up top. That's an interesting com combination. Joe Alonzo, Kobe Carino. I mean, I'm amazed that they can form a tag team with the yeah. egos of both yeah. of them, to be quite honest, but incredibly efficient. Junior heavyweights, standing switch. Drop kick there, beautiful, right on point, into the cover, shoulders down, kick out. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm surprised that that one corner will hold both those egos. That's. Alex Taylor just taking Alonzo into the corner. Kerry Morton made the tag. Oh, the drop kick. Yeah, Kerry Morton grabbed both, both legs and held on for all he was worth. Kerry Morton. Using the momentum of the ropes. Big vertical suplex. A la Tully Blanchard. Isolating the arm, going after the forearm. Yeah, not letting him make that tag. Hooking that waist. Going down hard. And now, 
Yeah, playing mind games. Alex Holy Taylor shit. going to work. Well, Scott's yeah, asking, yeah. Hey, yeah, there was no tag, but there's no way he could see, could see or not see it the way that was set up. Where do you think Kerry Morton learned a trick like that? Oh, man. Could it be from daddy, big old Ricky Morton? Well, uh, Ker Kerry Morton tag. has been in and around the business his entire life, and there's, you know, uh, there's very little he hadn't seen. And when you have a library like that in your head, you can pull it out any time you want. Knee to the ribs. Alonzo lands on his feet. Incredible agility. Oh, oh and Carey went in hard. Went in hard, face first in the turnbuckle. Sprung oh, he hit the cutter. He hit My it. goodness. On the already injured jaw of the junior heavyweight champion. And Colby Carino wants to get back in this match. Uh, Joe Alonzo holding that shoulder. He may have landed awkwardly on it. I didn't see Tag. it. <laughs> Tag is made. It comes Alex Taylor. Oh my God, huge cross body. Kobe Carino is feeling it. Forearm to the face. No wasted motion oh. by Colby Carino. He's going up top. Oh, he's, he's looking for something big. He wants to put an exclamation point on this right here. Could be enough. Kick that out was by close. Taylor. You knew saw Kerry Morton was a little worried there. But now Carino. Carino going up against this competition at NWA 75. Pulls him in the hard way. He's not waiting. He's not waiting for St. Louis. Oh, this is what he wants. Short arm clothesline takes down the champion. Anything he can do here. What's going to go for that DDT? Oh, but Carey just dumped him to the outside. And now Alonzo jumping through the air. Oh, goes face first into the turnbuckle. He's got oh, he's him looking up. For, he's got him up. He's looking for the green whistle. Green whistle. The green whistle connects. He no! got him. He got him. The winners of this match, the team of Alex Taylor, Kerry Martin, the Southern Six. Alex Taylor getting the pin, but Kerry Morton also getting a victory against the man who we will face very shortly at NWA 75 for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. The Southern Six standing tall in the opening match of this episode of NWA Power. Welcome to the episode, wrestling as it's meant to be. Seven foot tall Talos, nearly seven foot tall Judas. I wonder how I wonder how long it's been since Judiah has looked up. Oh, at they've already gone for the, the throat. They both use that choke slam as a finishing maneuver. And these are two monstrous men. Oh, and again. Oh, look at that. Judas the veteran going downstairs. Talos. That's a bit of a reach advantage, a little bit of a height advantage as well. And yeah, you're right. I don't know if Judas rarely, if ever, wrestles anybody taller than him. It's hard to find those folks. Yeah, it's and those those guys are well. He just put a, I think he just put a tooth out there. Now look at these big brutes just throwing haymakers. Now a big shoulder block by Judas. Last time we saw Judas in action was in that relatively bizarre submission match. 
driving Talos Gags, back into the corner. With Gags the Gimp, where Sal the Pala to throw in the towel. And then Talos, of course, he's already got his date set for NWA 75, number one contenders match for the United States Tag Team Championships. He'll be teaming with Daisy Kill to take on the Fixers. Winner of that match will take on the Country Gentleman, night two of NWA 75. Tickets and information available at nwatmax.com. Sidewalk slam and immediate kick out by Judias. Man, you can see you can see a little bit of the, the differentiation in the styles of these two guys, both big powerhouses. But it looks to me like Judias is more of a as a, of a of a puncher, where Talos is is more of a I mean, throwing big forearms, working that meaty part of, of of that bone. Clubbing blow to the chest. Judias, oh wow. Yeah, but yeah, you look at how big, how tall Talos yeah, is. You. You've got to find some kind of advantage, and that's what Judas is looking for. Punch to the face, and again. Choking the life out of Talos. We saw just how sadistic Judas could be in that submission match against Gags the Gimp. And it's no surprise being a part of yeah, Father I, James Mitchell, the sinister minister. Yeah, I mean, these guys have been you know, doling out punishment since they've gotten together and Judas basically just found a home. I mean, it, there's a reason why he's with the Sinister Minister. There's a reason why he's the enforcer of that group. And he's showing it right now. I mean, the check mark on, on aggressiveness is definitely going to Judas. Oh, yeah. Who's the man? Judas feels like he is the man and in firm control of this matchup. And the towering Talos bending, clubbing blows. Just savagely beating away like a drum. Putting combinations together in the corner like that, man. He's, he's driving, driving the air out of Talos. Talos, oh, goes in hard. Udias, oh, going in. Caught him on the side of the, the, the yeah, neck. I mean, very vicious, intense style of Judas, just beating down, beating away at Talos. Yeah, I don't think I don't think listening uh, listening to authority figures is Judas' strong point. I think yeah, we've we've seen that. Uh, Father James Mitchell is one of the few people who have ever been able to control this man. And now setting up, looking for that choke slam. This is how the match started. Both these men were going for it. Oh, Talos go for the choke slam himself. Talos, incredible power, incredible strength. Oh, but, oh got him by the oh, ear. Got him by the ear. Trying to can pick he hit up that fall he away? Got him. Can he hit oh, that fall gosh. away? Yes, he can. Took every ounce of energy within him, and this crowd is coming alive for Judas now. Big time fall away slam. And I think, though, I, I mean, he's still having trouble breathing, but I think part of the maybe the, the knee or the leg when he released Talos may have caught that, caught that right shoulder. He's got him hooked. Oh, he's looking for something big here. But wait a minute. It's Sal. Sal with that towel again. That was the towel he used to throw in the towel for the submission match. Sal, Sal what is he doing? He's got the towel. Wait, it's Gags. It's Gags the Gimp. Gags the Gimp. Oh my God, he got him. My goodness. The Gags reflex. Talos taking advantage. He hit him down. Big chunk slam. And into the cover. Wow! The winner of this match, Talos! Big time victory for Talos and a bit of redemption for Sal the Pal and Gags the Cube. And this monster of a man, over seven feet tall, stands tall on NWA Power. Good word in my ear, Mate Valentine is standing by with our television champion, Tom Latimer. Please welcome Tom Latimer. Tom, you're so close to hitting the lucky seven as NWA television champion. 
You must be feeling really good. Me, I'm, uh, I'm always feeling excellent. I really am. It's been a long road, still a long road, a long road I've been walking for a long time. Through all the ups and downs, all the bullshit. Finally, it's coming to a head. This is going to stay with me until it's time to cash it in. Now, at NWA 75, whether it's Tyrus or whether it's CC3, I couldn't give a shit. I'm cashing this in and I'm taking a heavyweight championship. But you have not qualified yet. Do you know who your last opponent will be? I have no idea, May, and I couldn't give a okay. shit. So line them up and I'll knock them down. Well, in next week's episode of Power, you and Chris Adonis will be teaming up, teaming up against Knox and Murdoch. How do you feel about that? I mean, uh, I mean, there's some tough brutes, right? There's some big old meaty boys. Uh, me and Chris, I mean, I mean, look at us. I mean, come on now. I mean, all I'm going to say is this, May. It's going to be a hell of an exhibition match. Uh, all the trials and turmoils that me and Chris have been through, uh, you know, it is what it is. We're still boys, we're still pals, and I think it's going to be a hell of a match. Whoever wins, I mean, it's going to be us. Well, let's just say this, may the best men win, and it'll be me and Chris. Thank you so much, Tom. Get ready to witness the greatest spectacle in professional wrestling as the National Wrestling Alliance presents NWA 75, our 75th anniversary pay-per-view extravaganza. Live from the legendary Chase Park Plaza in St. Louis, Missouri, Saturday, August 26th, and Sunday, August 27th. History will be made as NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Tyrus and NWA World Women's Champion Camille defend their prestigious titles, while EC3, Matt Cardona, Chris Adonis, and countless other stars unleash the fury of intense competition. Tickets are available now, starting at just $29.95. Secure your seats today at NWATix.com and take your place in the storied legacy of the NWA. DLZ, the Datsarazzi, the Deal Zarazzi, Camille Kylie, not title match tonight. Don't sleep on Kylie. You know, I don't know what I feel about Tom and Chris Adonis tagging again. I mean, you know. Show him the shirt. Huh? This is where you gotta get the shirt. What do you think? I'm gonna come over to you. How about that? Huh? You just signed with the National Wrestling Alliance, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I did. Why don't you tell me something? Um, I'm Ruthie J, and I'm the five-star athlete. How about that? That's it? That's it. What do you think about Kylie Page getting shot at Camille? It's not a title. They're two great competitors, but if I was in that position, just saying, I would come out with the W. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. Get her out of here. What are we, nuts? Anyway, we'll be back with another episode of DLZ. Following mixed tag team match is one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first, he is one half of the NWA United States Tag Team Champions. He is the brute from Bullhead Ranch, AJ Kazana, and she is the crush, Natalia Markova. I like this type of matchup. It is a mixed tag match here. It's going to be exciting. We've got some big contenders that already have a lot of plans for NWA 75 in less than two weeks. Great exhibition of what we can see with this talent. I just got excited too. That was, this is good, good. This, this is an interesting, the cowboy and the Russian. <laughs> this, yeah, I, the, the crush. opponents, accompanied by the Parker Cody James. This is the team of the Magic Bastard, Magic Jake Dumas, and his lovely assistant, CJ! All right, well, wait a minute here. This is really the first time that we're seeing CJ in action here in the NWA. She's really gotten herself involved in a lot of these matches with Cody James and with Magic Jake Dumas. Something we haven't seen for a year. I mean, yeah. I, it... All right, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know the rules. These mixed tag matches, there can be contact between the genders. So it's basically a standard tag team match. And now, although you already see, there's, there's always a communication breakdown between Magic Jake and CJ. And now, 
Natalia Markova wanting to start things off with Magic Jake. Magic Jake says, no, thank you. And I do not blame him. Well, we didn't we we saw a match, didn't we, with, with these two before? What? Well, I, I believe the circumstances were very different than what we are seeing right here. The bell has rung, and this mixed tag match has begun, and CJ's offering the foot. I think she's showing her. She's presenting the foot. Well, now, Magic Jake's saying, do the thing that I taught you. And, uh, you, the, you. CJ, oh my gosh, a knee to the face. I mean, CJ's feeling like, or at least looking like a fish out of water at this point. Well, Tag that, is made. In comes the Magic Bastard. If that was oh, the Natalia thing. Oh, Natalia says, Natalia's ready for a fight. Oh, my. Keep in mind, Natalia Markova, the number one contender for the NWA World Women's Championship. Going up against Camille at NWA 75, night one. Tickets and information at nwatix.com. You can order the pay-per-view on fight. And Markova's oh my god, the my cutter. Gosh. The cutter from Markova. Did she just beat Jake? Oh, no. one count. We talk about it all the time with Natalia Markova, pound for pound, maybe the strongest striker we have in the NWA. And oh, there you go. Speaking of strong strikers, AJ Kazana going after the back. Of course, he's going to be in action. Night two of NWA 75. Facing either the team of Daisy Kill and Talos or the Fixers. Dropping those elbows in the corner. Here comes another one. Kick out. Of course, AJ Kazana using, usually used to tagging with his cousin, Anthony Andrews. He's part of the country, gentlemen, and your United States Tag Team Champions. Making a big change here with Natalia Markova, but does appear to be working, Tim. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's. You, Again, when you put the level of talent that we have here in the NWA, you put those together in almost any combination. Into the cover, kick out immediately by yeah, Magic You're going to see some success. And I, that, no, I think that's what we're already seeing. Magic Jake to his feet. Sent into the corner. And the brute from Bullhead Ranch, full head of steam, smothering Magic Jake. Again off the ropes, big time clothesline from one half of the country. Gentlemen, into the cover, shoulders down, oh, that kick was close. out. Oh, that that was, was close. That was mighty close. That's what he said. Yeah. All right, slowing it down yeah. just a little bit. Of course, uh, AJ Kazana, third generation wrestler. We often see Joe Kazana by their side. And then, well, wait a minute, there you see. Magic Jake telling CJ, you do, do something. And so CJ's doing what CJ always does. And this crowd here in Highland Park is, they are not fans of Magic. Well, I, yeah, they don't, it's close up Magic. I, I suppose. Than, well, everything's close up here in the NWA. That, that, that is absolutely one, that's true, for sure. yeah. Action right at your, right in front of you. Oh my God, just bowled over by the Brute. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, now she understands. Yeah. Uh, well, or maybe maybe AJ's learned something from CJ. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, they're related. They have the same last name. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Jay. And, yeah, Jay. Jay. Okay. <laughs> Magic Magic Jake is begging her to, to do to get in and do something, and she just no. She, it doesn't. I, the communication. I I don't know if it's communication. I don't know if it's a, a lack of. of Awareness, practice in tag matches. I'm not exactly sure. I also think that there's a language barrier. Magic Jake has never spoken a word of Portuguese, and that's all I hear CJ say. So I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever heard her speak. Yeah, well, she, I mean, it's Portuguese. She does Portuguese. Does the commercials with Danny Deals in oh, Portuguese? Okay. Ta wait, tag is made. There you go. Well, she tagged him. But now. Oh, wait, she understands to come in. Here. Well, now, now CJ, I don't know. Yeah, AJ doesn't want any part of, of having to fight a woman, so tag is made to Markova. And I, I, that's something you definitely expect to see from the yeah. gentleman. But oh. even, even Markova is like, you know, you could have just knocked her down, finished this match, and we could have head to the pay window. But now Markova with a forearm to CJ. Uh -oh. And CJ's firing up. She's taking that full force and bringing it herself. Look at this. Oh, block, blocked by CJ. Oh my God, a code breaker. 
out of nowhere. Markova backed into the corner. Oh. And CJ. Oh, telling AJ to. Get that running Snap. knee. That's beautiful. That was, well, there we go. Something has been in lock. Maybe, maybe CJ's needing to shake something off. And now, oh, Magic Jake. He could be looking for that tombstone pile driver. Markova escapes out the back door. Tag is made. I don't know if Magic Jake saw it, but he's able to duck the clothesline. Oh, no! Oh, no! He just crushed. Yeah, he just crushed the crush. Step up, Enzikuri! Are you kidding me by CJ? Super kick! And the Brute is down! Oh, no. Well, wait a minute. What's happening here? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh! The moonsault! Oh, no, no, no. And the Brute is in the drop zone. A oh, moonsault from Magic Jake, a man that size. Big time moonsault. And he gets a pitfall victory. The, the winners win. of this match, the team of CJ and Magic Jake Dumas, Magic Inc. My goodness. That was impressive. That came out of nowhere. Double moonsaults, first from CJ, then from Magic Jake. It all came together in the end, and Magic Jake gets a pin on one half of the United States Tag Team Champions. This is incredible. Magic Jake is shocked. Yeah, I know. I am too, and we got to take a quick break. We'll be back. Please welcome Eric Jackson. Eric, you've been signed to the NWA for almost a year now. How has it been for you? Honestly, I've been very grateful for the opportunity. However, I feel like I just haven't been able to showcase my true ability and exactly who I am. And see, May, who I really am is him. See, all the people around the world and everybody in the back, all y'all, y'all been sleeping on me and that's okay. Because when I team up with Father next week, I'm gonna wake everybody up. That's right, you're gonna be teaming up with Fodder next week. You don't think that's strange at all? <laughs> no, not at all. See, Fodder has a great mind and so does Angelina. And great minds together do great things. And anybody they put in front of us, when they step up, we gonna step on them. Wrestling fans, get ready for an action-packed spectacle like no other as the National Wrestling Alliance presents two thrilling nights of NWA Power TV tapings. Mark your calendars for Monday, August 28th and Tuesday, August 29th as the shockwaves of our monumental 75th anniversary event bring the NWA back to Skyway Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Witness the passion, the grit, and the raw athleticism as these modern-day warriors clash in pursuit of glory and championship gold. Don't miss your chance to be part of this unforgettable experience. Grab your tickets now at NWATix.com and secure your chance to feel the power. The National Wrestling Alliance, where history lives and legends are forged. NWA Wrestling fans, Kyle Davis here in the Control Center, and there is so much happening in the National Wrestling Alliance. I thought, what a better time than right now to fill you on some of the action. Perhaps you've heard of the World is a Vampire Festival, the Smashing Pumpkin tour that's going on right now. Well, the National Wrestling Alliance will be part of that for four dates. If you're going to be in the Smashing Pumpkins area of any of these, and you want to be part of the NWA Wrestling excitement, folks, there's no reason not to go. Thursday, 8-17, we're going to be in Huntsville, Alabama. Saturday, 8-19, West Palm Beach, Florida. Sunday, 8-20, we're going to be in Tampa, Florida. And then the last date on there, Tuesday, 8-22, Charlotte, North Carolina. And that is just a stepping stone as we are just a few days away from NWA 75 in St. Louis, Missouri. 75 years of the National Wrestling Alliance. The next 75 years begins at that pay-per-view. Two nights, one massive event with the world title on the line. Tyrus's career, will it be over? Will he retain the championship? Folks, tune in to find out. If you can't be there in person, go to fight.tv, order it right now. We got the bundle for both nights, save you a few bucks. Or if you really want to be a part of all the action, which I hope because then we get to see each other in person, go to nwatix.com and get your tickets today. That is Saturday, August 26th, Sunday, August 27th. The two days after that, we'll be in Nashville, Tennessee as well for power tapings. See all the fallout of NWA 75 live and in person at Skyway Studios. Go to nwatix.com for that. That's Monday, 828 and Tuesday, 829. 
And if you don't want to wait for action, maybe you missed out. But Saturday, we just had HP Cares for Cooper, the event, the charity in Highland Park, Illinois. You got to witness that. If you haven't already, go over to our YouTube page right now. And speaking of our YouTube page, this coming Saturday, we have BRCW versus the world. That's Boca Championship Wrestling. Folks at National Wrestling Alliance quarreled. They had a battle, friendly rivalry, if you will, going against the talent there in BRCW. And you're going to be able to see that this Saturday. And folks, power the week after this, the last power before NWA 75. Big main event. NWA television champion Tom Latimer teams up with the masterpiece Chris Adonis. These men will be facing each other at NWA 75. And their opponents, Trevor Murdoch and Mike Knox. Folks, this could have giant ramifications going into NWA 75. Other talent you'll see on there, the Outrunners, Daisy Kill, Samantha Starr, Ruthie J, and so much more. Folks, that was a lot of information. I don't know how much you retain, but go to nwatix.com for tickets, nationalwrestlingalliance.com for all your NWA needs, or check out the YouTube page. For the Control Center, this has been Kyle Davis, and I hope to see you at an NWA live event. The following non-title match is one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing first, representing Pretty Empowered, this is Kylie Page. Yeah, this is really the future of an NWA women's division versus the present in a non-title matchup. Kylie Page, I believe 19, 20 years old, just getting started in this sport, but it's going to have a monumental task at hand. one half of the NWA's power couple and the NWA World Women's Champion. This is the Brick House, Camille. The most dominant champion in the National Wrestling Alliance, defending that championship everywhere she goes, across the United States, Mexico and just one of the toughest athletes you will find anywhere. It's Camille. There's a reason she is the one time, one time, one time. She's had tough competition, but she just keeps finding a way to win. Once again, this is a non-title match with Kylie Page. Now, Kenzie Page, our current NWA Women's TV Champion, has made it very clear that once that lucky seven is reached, she wants to cash in and go for the Burke. Camille already has a match set up for NWA 75 against Natalia Markova, night one. Tickets and information available at nwatix.com. All right, the collar elbow tie up, and no, oh, that man. did not work for the young and much smaller Kylie Page. Well, I mean, you you look at you look at Camille and you think, okay, size advantage, probably an athletic advantage, experience advantage, yeah, athletic advantage. Yeah, all the advantage in the world, but we have seen from Kylie Page very opportunistic, very quick as well, and you know, all it takes is three seconds. Yeah. Well, and and. You said that she's made it clear she wants a shot at, 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 at the Burke. Well, that's, I'm that's sure all of our women want. do, yeah, but her sister, who is our television champion, uh, potentially with a few more victories, could be next in line. But of course, Natalia Markova, the number one contender, coming up NWA 75. As Kylie Page is uh, reaching for those yeah, ropes. Yeah, well, just being manhandled by. Uh, just the power. Yeah. You, the, you call her the brick house, the powerhouse. And that was effortless for our world women's champion. Just holding her. Well, she wanted to be put down, yeah. and she was. Shoulders down, kick out. Camille now up on the shoulders. Perhaps looking for that Finley roll that we've seen. There it is. Oh boy, stuck that one. Now, in the lying in wait, 
Lying in wait. And she's, yeah, got, we've seen this Ky before. Kylie just doesn't even know where to go. And, oh, shoulder! Shoulder first into the steel post. And that's the opportunity that Kylie was looking for. Baited in the champ. Oh, wow. Using that apron of the ring. Targeting the left arm. And that is the arm, that, the shoulder that Camille typically leads with, with the spear. Yeah. Well, and that's just pure physics. That much, that much speed, that much strength, that much power into that, into that corner. You're gonna do some damage to yourself, and that's what. That, to to her credit, and she is she is staying on that arm. That's her best. That's her best chance right now. Take that arm out. Take it away. Yeah, I don't think Camille was anticipating this level of offense from Kylie Page. Really attacking that arm. Camille able to get it to the bottom rope, forcing the break from Kylie. Kylie Page. That arm, Camille back up. That arm Again, looks oh, dead. using the ropes. Oh, wow. This could be significant damage. I mean, I mean we're just days away yeah. from NWA 75. I mean, it's a huge match for Camille, and Markova has been able to push Camille to her limits before. She goes in injured. I mean, Markova could be the one walking out with a burr. Absolutely right, and I, I don't think, I don't think when she took this match, oh, she, oh boy, that she thought this is where she was going to be. And I mean, it, we all know you step in the ring, you're risking potential energy, uh, pot potential injury. But you know, this this could definitely affect her. Ducks the clothesline, Camille on oh the attack. Oh my gosh, jeez, just Face buried first. her. And I think I think Camille's just angered. At this point, she's feeling something in that arm. Knows we're just a few days away from NWA 75. Yeah, I think she. I think she understands that she needs to to win this match into the buckle. and get out of it quick. Goes down into the canvas, kick out, and all, the damage to the arm. I don't think there yeah. was enough in that I slam agree. that we yeah. normally see from Camille. Yeah, usually there is complete control, and and there seemed to be a little like slipping there. Kylie. What's Kylie thinking here? You will never beat Kinsey Page. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, the power, the strength of Camille. That is a terrible Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, just dumped her down with the Alabama slam. Oh, my goodness. Kylie Page seeing stars here in the NWA arena. Camille trying to get some more feeling back into that arm. Spear! My goodness, the spear with the right shoulder. Leading in with the good arm. Yeah, you're gonna take one away. Well, I've got another one. Wait, Camille's, oh yeah. no. She's not going for oh, the pin. Oh no, she is not going for the pin. She wants to throw some salt in the wound. She wants to send a message. And there's another spear! Now into the cover. There it is. The winner of this match, the NWA World Women's Champion, Camille! Kylie Page gave it everything that she had, but it just was not enough in this non-title matchup against Camille. But Camille already looking forward to NWA 75 to take on Natalia Markova on the biggest stage of them all. Our anniversary show. NWA 75 tickets available nwatix.com you can order the pay-per-view on Fight TV as well. And what what's Camille doing here? I think right now I just think it's a matter Making of eyes against page. And a double spear. My god, a double spear by Camille. Camille's basically taking out the entire pretty empowered. Yeah, she You 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 want to test me? You want to find out how, what my, where my dominance is? This is what I can do. Oh, but look at this. Kenzie Page also has made her way out here, but... All right, they're gonna go regroup, and we are too. We're gonna take a break, we'll be back. Please welcome Trevor Murdoch and Mike Knox. Gentlemen, on night two of NWA 75, you have a world tag team opportunity. How do you feel about that? You know what, May, Knoxie and I, we're gonna go in there, and we're gonna do the same thing we do every time we step into that ring. We're gonna dominate, win, and collect paychecks. At 75, it's gonna be no different. Which team would you rather face? Very tough team, it's a very hard decision. La Rebellion has the best face makeup in the business. 
champions for years. We can take nothing away from them. Oh, man. BFT, though. Aaron put his hands on my man here. Try to cost us that precious silver. That cannot go unchecked. Long story short, whoever shows up goes down. And on next week's episode of Power, you two will be facing Chris Adonis and Tom Latimer. How do you feel about that? It's going to be a great opportunity for Noxie and I to warm up for 75. We're going to sharpen our skills a little bit. But it's going to be no different. The result is going to be no different. We're going to dominate, collect paychecks. That's what Noxie and Murdoch does. Get ready to witness the greatest spectacle in professional wrestling as the National Wrestling Alliance presents NWA 75, our 75th anniversary pay-per-view extravaganza, live from the legendary Chase Park Plaza in St. Louis, Missouri, Saturday, August 26th, and Sunday, August 27th. History will be made as NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Tyrus and NWA World Women's Champion Camille defend their prestigious titles, while EC3, Matt Cardona, Chris Adonis, and countless other stars unleash the fury of intense competition. Tickets are available now, starting at just $29.95. Secure your seats today at nwatix.com and take your place in the storied legacy of the NWA. So, we meet once more, Natalia. <sighs> At NWA 75, we face off. Again. Honestly, I don't know why. I just proved that you cannot beat me. I just proved that you are not better than me. I just proved why I am the one time. But I guess, Billy thinks that you've come the closest to beating me and I guess he's he's not wrong. You are about to hit your beautiful destruction, but I, as the one-time champ, as the person who is now number five on the all-time reigns list for the NWA Women's World Champion, I muster up the energy to end you with that spear. But I guess, I guess that wasn't enough to prove a point. So I thought, what would be? And then it came to me. Camille versus Natalia Markova. No rules, no count outs, no DQ. Anything goes. No limits. And at the end of the night, when I am standing over you and still your NWA Women's World Champion, I will put an end to anyone that even says your name in the same sentence as mine that thinks it's appropriate to compare the two of us. Because a hundred times out of a hundred, the brick house beats Markova. At NWA 75, I'm destroying the myth that is Markova. The following tag team match is one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by Aaron Stevens, the manager of champions. This is the team of BFT Carnage, BFT Damage. They are Blunt Force Trauma. Yeah, such an imposing force, making it all the way to the finals of the Crockett Cup. So impressive, led by Aaron Stevens. I mean, just terrifying, a terrifying team. You know, when you take that physicality and put the knowledge of Aaron Stevens with them, they are, they are, da they are dangerous. Golden Boy, Jordan Clearwater, and the Over Man, because he is Over Man, EC3. All right, well, you can see, folks, EC3 no longer the national heavyweight champion, relinquished the championship to go after Tyrus. He is the number one contender for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. And he's got a chance to make history at NWA 75 
August 26th and 27th in St. Louis at the Chase. We didn't get pyro. How come we didn't get pyro? I don't know what Aaron Stevens is complaining about. They got the same entrance as everybody yeah, else. Apparently, I'm in charge of pyro now. Yeah, I, apparently. Tomorrow. You want me to pop the corn too? Yeah, please do. What's interesting here is after what we saw that matchup where EC3 relinquished that title. Jordan Clearwater's kind of been hanging out with him a yeah. lot and hanging out with the CYN crew. I understand he took a couple of flights over to Cleveland as well and kind of been training with them as well. He's, he, he thinks he, there's a lot he can learn from EC3 and also from C Red, the manager that they have on the outside. A real legend here in the Chicago area. Uh, and I, I don't disagree with that logic. I, you know, I think as a young, a young guy like uh, like Jordan, I, you need to reach out and you need to you need to get knowledge anywhere you can get it and try to apply it and see what works for you. And man, if, if he can get that from EC3 and C Red, then, then get that knowledge. I think it's interesting. There's almost like a level of uncertainty in the yeah. face of Jordan Clearwater. It seems like maybe you know Jordan Clearwater always was a very accomplished professional wrestler before trying to learn under EC3, maybe second guessing a lot of what he normally does. Well, I mean, that's that's one of the dangers. Well, I said you should go out and, and get knowledge from other people, but you've got to learn, and he's still young, he's got to learn who to listen to and who not, who, who to not listen to, and I don't yeah. know if he's there yet. Carnage, incredibly dominant in the early goings of this match, tag is made to damage. Well, you see EC3 coaching him up right now. Damage showing no fear in the face of Jordan Clearwater, former television champion. And I would I would state that the damage probably shows no fear in the face of anybody. I mean, yeah. he is. I mean, all, both members of Blood Force Trauma. I mean, right. that's how they've gotten so successful. And also a large part of that in the day to be said for Aaron Stevens, yeah. his cooperation with this team. And, Making it to the finals of the Crockett Cup is, is no easy feat. Big shoulder tackle there by Damage. And he's, he's, he's saying this is light work. Playing some mind games with Jordan Clearwater, who honestly, he just kind of looks off of his game. Well, I think I think he's trying. All right. Uh, so he's trying Tag to follow made. follow the directions of EC3, but, uh, but he's in there with two. You know, I don't, Monsters, I don't think is an understatement. I mean, this is an interesting time for EC3 to pick up another protege. You think he'd be laser focused on NWA 75, laser focused on that main event yep. title shot against Tyrus for the world's championship. Wanting to get his hands on the 10 pounds of gold. Right, and he, he took the time right there to point at Jordan Clearwater and say, like this. Yeah. But I don't think, I don't think either one of these big guys are the ones that you want to you want to be teaching using against an example. See, he's still, he's yeah. right now, like this. You see three, tag, in comes Jordan Clearwater. I said try that, so let's see where we go. All right, All right. he's got the headlock Step takeover. One. Yes, yes. Gets the seal of approval from his mentor, EC3. Damage to his feet. Sends him off the ropes. There's the big shoulder tackle, and uh, EC3 is looking like a proud papa right now. Well, he, I, you know, yeah, he's learning. It's that's, that's a good thing. It's building. Chop to the chest. In comes Carnage, and Jordan Clearwater has found a new gear. Tag is made, in comes EC3, and Aaron Stevens, he, he's getting upset. Double shoulder tackle. Jordan Clearwater apparently takes coaching well. Yeah. Kick, completely shifting the momentum. And Carnage grabbing the ankle, dragging EC3, and the tag is made.
Damage now going to work. Shot to the ribs. Chop to the chest and EC3 reaching out. Tag. Carnage again back in the matchup. You hear Aaron Stevens, that's, this is teamwork. Yeah, I mean, the BFT is a well-oiled machine together, and you can see it right here as Damage with a big splash in the corner. And again, Carnage, I mean, it is just non-stop punishment for the number one contender to the World's Heavyweight Championship. Oh, gets planted, and immediately into the cover. Oh, shoulders not down. Oh, well, oh, wait a minute, not the legal, legal man. man. Okay. That's a great call there by the official, because I even got confused for a moment. Well, we saw, we saw blood force trauma really, really come together at the Crockett Cup. I mean, oh, they yeah. were already having success, but they, they put together a run of matches at the Crockett Cup that just solidified. Jump to the outside. EC3 crawling with everything he's got, trying to make the tag to his protege, but no, got caught. And again, Carnage picking at the ankle, but no, gets pushed off, and there's the tag. Here comes the Golden Boy. Let's see what he's got. Big clothesline, big back elbow. Clearwater has him in the corner. Splash. And Jordan Clearwater is looking like a million bucks right now. Oh, man, that is beautiful. Now, hurrying into the cover. Shoulders down, and damage is there to break it up. But, oh, the Fez press. Fez press by EC3. Ground and pound. Trying to even the odds for Clearwater. Oh, but clawing at the eyes. The referee's back was turned, didn't see it. Combination. Oh my gosh, sidewalk slam into the elbow drop. Now into the cover. Oh, and Aaron Stevens was pulling at the ankle. He's the winners of this match, Blunt Force Trauma. Well, big well, time, machine. big time victory for BFT as we are just a few days away from NWA 75, August 26th and 27th in St. Louis. Can they keep this momentum going all the way to the chase? We'll find out and we will see you next Tuesday for our season finale of Power.